All right, what's up guys? It's me, Sean, here with some AWS tutorial here today. And today we're going to be learning about how to host your static website on Amazon S3 bucket. So without further ado, let's get started. So as you can see, I have this HTML5 static website that I've downloaded from um, this list of free 50 HTML website site. And as you can see, this is a fully working pages static website. So I'll be hosting this up into um, S3 bucket so other people can use them. The first thing you need to do is you need to go into your Amazon Web Console. And if you get to Amazon Web Console, let's browse into S3 bucket. So you will see list of buckets here. Go ahead and click on a bucket where you want to put your website into. And as you can see, my bucket is empty, but you can upload your static website into non-empty bucket. So let's go ahead and hit upload. And what I recommend you guys is you guys should actually drag and drop a whole project files into that uploading area just so that you don't have to go individually search for files and upload them one by one. So go ahead and drag and drop. And as you can see, it includes folders and stuff as well. So hit next. And here you actually have to change your manage public permissions to make it public so that people can access your website and browse through your other HTML pages and stuff. So go ahead and hit next. And after you hit next, you'll be able to choose storage class and encryption and all that stuff. So if you guys don't know what these are, please go ahead and check out my previous video. But to save my cost, I'll just choose reduce the redundancy and I'll leave encryption and metadata as default and hit next. And after you do that, it'll ask you to review it and just go ahead and hit upload and it will take some time to upload all your files. All right, so now all my files are uploaded up into a um, S3 bucket. And as you can see, my index HTML is my entry point. So what I need to do is I need to go into this properties section. And if you go into properties section, you will see static web hosting on the right side of this cards here. And mine is checked, yours probably will say disabled. Don't worry about it, just click on the card. And there are three different options. So there's a use this bucket to host website, or you can redirect requests into other bucket, or you can just disable web hosting in general. So you can always like switch back and forth. So, well, because we're going to host a website, let's choose use this bucket to host website and go ahead and type in index.html into index document section. And also if you have an error document, you can put error.html or any type of HTML file for error redirection. And you don't really have to worry about redirection rules in this case. So after you type in your index document, just go ahead and hit save. And one thing to note here is let's go ahead and click back to static web hosting. And if you look on top, it says endpoint with this address here. And this is your static website's uh, domain address. So go ahead and copy this. Let's go ahead and open up a new tab and let's paste it in here. And if you hit enter, and as you can see, my static website is up in cloud and is public to other people. So yeah, that's how you upload static websites into S3 bucket. So if you guys have any questions, please leave questions on the comment section below and please subscribe for more tutorials. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.